guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dema Tutorials. Dema Tutorials, as you already know, is an educational channel on YouTube, on Facebook, and on TikTok. So they want to look at relative pronoun concord. Okay, I want to look at this topic, relative pronoun concord, okay? Relative pronoun concord. This is one of the topics you're going to see in the section on completion of sentences. There is hardly a year you don't see a question on relative pronoun concord, okay? First, what's a relative pronoun? A relative pronoun is a pronoun that tells us more about a noun, okay? They are used in the traditional relative clauses, okay? They tell us more about a noun. They include um, who, which, who, that etc. Okay, they are used in traditional relative clauses. Okay, I'm treating this topic because I see a lot of questions on it in the past questions. Okay, so I needed to pay attention because it's very simple and you just need to understand how to apply the rule to make it very easy for you. Okay, now let's see an example of a sentence that contains a relative clause. Okay, let's take um. One of the men who plants in the farm is my uncle. One of the men who plants in the farm is my uncle. Okay. Now, relative pronoun concord simply states that when you have a relative pronoun in a sentence, okay, the verb that comes after the relative pronoun is going to um, agree with the um, noun or pronoun that is before the relative pronoun. Okay. The verb that occurs after the relative pronoun. Is going to agree in number with the noun or pronoun that is before the relative pronoun. Okay. Now, for example, we have plant here. Plant here, as used in this sentence, is a verb. It shows action. Okay. Is a verb. Okay. And plant is plural. Um, when we're referring to third person singular, if you're referring to third person and the person we're referring to is a single person, we use plants. Now. We're not going to use plants here because men is plural. So we're going to use um, a plural verb, okay? So you can agree with a plural noun that is before um, a relative pronoun, okay? So when you have a sentence that contains a relative pronoun, the verb that is going to come after the relative pronoun will agree in number with the noun or pronoun that is before the relative pronoun. And the second verb in the sentence is going to agree with the subject of the sentence, okay? It's going to agree with the subject of the sentence. Now, now the second verb in this sentence is, is, okay? Is is the second verb in the sentence and is is single, okay? The plural of is, is, are. Now, is agrees with one, okay? It agrees with one. So, when you have um, a sentence that contains a relative pronoun, the verb that comes after the relative pronoun is going to agree in number with the antecedent, okay? The noun or pronoun that is before the relative pronoun. And the second verb is going to agree with the subject of the sentence or the first noun in the sentence, okay? I hope you understood, okay? So let's see another example before we answer a question from jump past questions. Some of the men that live here are not Nigerians. Some of the men that live here are not Nigerians, okay? Now, in this sentence, we have a relative pronoun, okay? We have that, okay? That, and the, the noun that is before that, is it singular or plural? It is plural. So, we're going to use a plural verb, okay? The plural verb is going to come after the relative pronoun, okay? Now if, you must, if, now, if you want to make this singular, you add S, okay? So, because men is plural, men refers to more than one man. So, because men is plural, we are going to use a plural verb to agree in number with men, okay? Now, the second verb in this sentence is A. Uh, A, uh, okay? A. Uh, A uh agrees in number with some, okay? It agrees in number with some. Some refers to more than one person, okay? It shows that we are referring to more than one person, okay? So, ah, is plural because some suggest plurality, okay? It suggests that we are talking about 
more than one person okay so that is it about relative criminal concord now it's time for us to answer some questions from jump past questions I, this is jump past this is um jump past questions and um, booklets okay let's um answer some questions from jump past questions on um relative criminal concord one of the women who dash in the premises dash be asked to vacate okay uh, we have option A, sells slash has, B, sells slash have, C, sells slash has, and D, sells slash have, okay? Now, which of these is the correct answer? Now, this question is on relative kernel concord, okay? This is a relative kernel. So, what we're going to do is to look at the um, noun, the noun that is before the relative kernel. And, and this noun is plural, okay? Is plural okay so we are going to choose um a plural verb here now cells is this similar or plural it is singular so we're going to rule up this one cell is um plural cell is plural in option c and cells in option d is plural so we're we are going to rule up these two and we're left with b and c okay so we are going to write cell here okay because this now is plural and let's choose a verb for the second gap okay now, um, the second verb has to uh, refer to the subject, okay? It has to refer back to the subject. Now, the subject is one. It is one. It refers to one, okay? One is singular. So, we're going to choose a singular verb, okay? The verb we're going to choose is going to be singular, okay? So, we have have. Have is plural and has is singular. So option C is the correct answer, okay? So this um, topic is pretty simple. Um, please make sure you subscribe to this channel, share the video to your friends, and do not forget to like the video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in another video. Bye-bye.